Hi friends, so today we're gonna do a really fun activity where we take this little glass bead and a colored pencil of your choice. I would choose a dark color though, personally. And we are going to start the bead somewhere. It could be in the corner, in the center, off to the other side. And we are going to push the bead around this piece of paper slowly and carefully with our colored pencil. You cannot lift the pencil, that's the only rule. Once it hits the paper, you cannot lift it. This is going to be a continuous line drawing. Now, it's going to have a mind of its own. The bead is going to determine what your drawing looks like. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start in the corner, but again, you can start anywhere. I'm gonna put that pencil down and I am not going to lift it again. I'm gonna press pretty hard and I'm moving the bead. Now I have to adjust where my pencil is to keep the bead in motion. Again, you can try and draw something if you want, but it's gonna be pretty tricky. You're going to continue. If the bead turns, you're gonna to have to turn which way, change which way the pencil's going to push that bead around this picture plane. You cannot lift the pencil. A continuous line drawing is a drawing that has no breaks in the line. The pencil or drawing utensil does not leave the paper once. You're gonna try and fill the whole paper. Your pencil does not leave the edge of the bead. The bead is leading where the line goes. It's very hard to control. And I'm gonna stop there. That looks awesome. <laughs> All the shapes are very organic. I love it. Now you're gonna use colored pencils or crayons to color in some of the different shapes um, that you've created here. I wanna use an analogous color scheme, which is um, colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel or the rainbow. I used a purple watercolor pencil. So I'm gonna use different shades of purple and blues to color in my piece and I'm just going to have some fun with it here. I might try and do some shading in the different shapes, leave some blank, but I'm gonna try and highlight some of these really interesting organic shapes that I've created here. So I'm gonna kind of mix two blues in this shape. Fading from dark to light. Neat, I might even add some white. Maybe I'll do like this pink, purple, and purple down here. And you're just gonna have fun coloring in your abstract drawing. Can't wait to see what yours looks like. 